Welcome to Tech Gazette, YouTube's best source for all step-by-step how-to-tech videos, and thorough trustworthy reviews on the most current and upcoming IT, electronics and other tech products. In this video we will be explaining how to activate your Ares TM822G with Comcast. First, an active service line is needed for setup. Customer-owned devices typically cannot be used for new services installed by on-site techs. Second, if you have an active service, there cannot be any pending balances on the account that are more than 30 days. Be aware that Comcast's local service centers and on-site technicians are encouraged to have you lease or purchase modems directly from Comcast at a higher price and will create any possible reason to not install your customer-owned device. In some regions, they are even prohibited to install customer-owned devices. There are two ways for a successful installation. 1. You can self-activate using the following link. http colon slash slash customer dot xfinity dot com slash help dash and dash support slash phone slash how dash to dash activate dash your dash self dash install dash devices. 2. Calling the Comcast Device Activation Department or Level 2 Support. The preferred number to call is 1-855-652-3446. Or for Internet Essentials, customers can call 1-855-846-8376. Only call Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Level 2 Support, as well as the Device Activation Department can help to force firmware with all telephony activation on customer-owned telephony modems if any issues are experienced. Very important note, are the phone numbers starting with 1-800 or 1-866 are not connected to the device activation department and will stop assisting at a certain stage as they are the customer service department and have no access to the device activation system. Their support is limited to only the service line activation system for Comcast provided modems devices. Most reps working in these departments will try to have you lease or purchase directly from Comcast when provided the opportunity. These custom tailored shortcuts have helped to save thousands of customers valuable time. They are constantly upgraded based on system updates as well as the information our clients share regarding their experience during the activation process. These instructions can also be found in Comcast support forums. The only frustration clients have reported is that from time to time, multiple calls or attempts may have to be made if you are not getting through to level 2 support to add the unit as a personal device to your account. Congratulations! Once you have completed the activation process, you will now be ready to save hundreds of dollars that your provider would have charged in leasing fees or in overpriced equipment sales. If you found this video helpful, we would be very grateful if you could share, give it a like and comment below. This way you can help others to save as well. Please subscribe and click on the notification bell for all future videos as we will be providing a variety of other how to step by step tech videos along with comprehensive thorough reviews of popular and upcoming electronics IT and tech products in the consumer marketplace if you did not see your model modem or router here please check our youtube channel's other videos for reference as you will most likely find it there thank you so much again for your time and enjoy the savings from your friends at tech gazette ciao